space and the seven tools that will help you get there. Okay, so today we're going to talk about my reason, which is a talking about what's your reason to. I'm going to give you my reason. Okay, and my reason comes with a small story. Okay, so a lot of reasons, when I say reasons, um, I mean, um, what is... What is it that you live for? What is it? Um, we tend to live our lives and kind of live it um, as a routine, kind of live it because, you know, you have to work, you have to do this. So we tend to build ourselves and I am definitely number one in that, in this routine and um, living our life and, and making decisions according to that. But we forget our reason why we're making the decision. We forget. Get into guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so no, uh, we forget what or what is our reason. So hypothetically or in theory, if I was to tell you that you were the one who chose your life to live. So if hypothetically someone will ask you, well, if this is the life you chose. Why did you choose it? So a lot of people wonder and live their life just because, just because your parents did it or just because that's what people do or just because a lot of people, their reason is to travel because they love to travel. They're not uh, the married type of people. They're not this. Um, and, and they're not wrong because that is what their reason. So today I'm going to talk about my reason so it will help you reflect on yourself that what is your reason, okay? So we, I, six years ago, I, I lost, um, no, I'm not going to say six years ago. Most of my life, um, I lived my life, um, with different reasons. We change every day. So every day your reason will change. So I'm going to explain my reason, but it doesn't mean that tomorrow it might not change. It might be the same concept, but with different categories on it. But when I say my reason, I want you to have a vision in your head of it's the concept of your life. It's the concept, the principle of your life. It is is what you want to achieve, what you want to become, where do you want to be, you know, um, because sometimes in our path and the way we live our life, we forget that we forget what, what we want in life or what are our reasons in life or what is, where do you want to be? You know, um, we tend to, um, say, you know, here in five years, we want to be here, but we never get to be there. We never get to, to, to go where we want it to, because then this happened and that happened and this happened, but now we're going to ask ourselves why it happened. Why did you lose your reason? Because that's all, that's what it's all about. So hoy yo voy a hablar de uh, un tema que es mi razón. Y yo quiero que tú tengas el concepto en tu mente que no es una razón específica, sino una idea o un, o un personaje que tú quieres ser, un ser humano que tú quieres ser o quieres ser para lograr o o alguien donde tú quieras una meta o quieres ser esta persona o quieres... Porque nosotros eh, tenemos la tendencia de, de hacer, eh, decir este año, cuando viene un nuevo año, decir, ah, pues aquí a cinco años, aquí a este año, yo quiero ser esta persona. O yo quiero llegar aquí. O yo quiero llegar acá. Y nunca es como que llegamos ahí porque hay 20 mil de obstáculos que nos vienen y 20 mil de cosas. Pues ahora yo quiero hablar de esas razones por qué permitimos esos obstáculos. Por qué nosotros permitimos. Ahora yo... Con mi historia, yo los voy a hacer a ustedes sentarse y poder pensar en por qué a veces no llegamos a, a, a vivir nuestra razón, nuestro ser, quién queremos ser, qué queremos lograr. Porque a lo último, uno tiene que pensar que uno está viviendo la vida de uno, no de nadie más. Porque aunque yo tenga mis hijos y tenga los gemelos ahora, ellos van a crecer y ser su vida. Ellos van a ser su, sus personajes diferentes. Ellos van a encontrar su razón de vivir su vida. So, si yo 
te dijese a ti que tú escoges la vida que tú vives, ¿cuál sería tu razón? ¿Cuál sería esa razón? And, and como Chucha dice, hi Chucha, thank you. Y es verdad lo que ella dice, nosotros nos ponemos cómodos, nos ponemos y nos como, nosotros vivimos nuestras vidas a veces con que nos conformamos con lo que tenemos y con eso pues nos basta. Pero en nuestra vida interior, en nuestra alma, en nuestro corazón, somos felices. ¿De verdad somos felices tomando esa decisión? ¿De verdad somos felices levantándonos todos los días haciendo lo que hacemos diariamente? Somos. Esa es la pregunta y esa es tu razón. So, yo voy a hablar de mi razón. Casi toda mi vida yo he vivido sin ninguna razón. Yo he basado la mayoría de mi vida eh, viviendo las razones de los demás. De los demás. So, how are we saying it in Spanish? Most of my life, I've lived my life um, living other people's reason. And I'm going to give you a big part of my history. And, and this is a, a very um, sensitive story that I'm going to talk about. But in order for, for you to get an idea and for you to know exactly what I'm talking about, I would need to do this. And it's also in my book and it will be in my book. Or it is in my book. Um, so um, about um, six years ago, or mo a little more than six years ago, I made a decision that impacted my life big time. I made a decision to be with a someone. And that someone that I decided to be with, I heard it someone who was once upon a time dear to me. Okay, so it was a betrayal. That's what it was. But me being who I am, if one thing about me and I might make mistakes and I might not be perfect and I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do because I am my me and, and this is who I am. But if one thing always know about me is that I speak my truth, no matter what, no matter If anyone likes it, no matter if it's going to hurt me, no matter if I feel embarrassed about it, no matter if it hurts me, no matter if I know that people are going to look at me and judge me, if people are going to sit there and say, oh my God, look at her. I, that's one thing about me. If I make a decision, I am willing and capable of knowing what the consequences are. So six years ago, I made a decision that impacted um, my life, a decision that I don't regret today, that I would never regret in my life. So I'm going to go back in Spanish so I can, you know, start going into the story. So, seis años atrás, yo un poco más de seis años, yo tomé una decisión que impactó mi vida bastante. Yo tomé una decisión para estar con una con una persona y yo 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 herí a otra persona que una vez fue muy querida en mi vida. Ahora, como estaba diciendo, si algo yo soy una persona, yo puedo tomar las decisiones que tomo, yo puedo ser la persona que soy, yo no soy perfecta. Cometo errores, pero si algo Gigi siempre va a ser en su vida es honesta. Si yo tomo decisiones, yo soy capaz y soy muy capaz de atenerme a las consecuencias que vengan. So, seis años atrás yo tomé una decisión, lo cual no fue una decisión escondida. Eh, fue una decisión que yo la dejé bastante clara en el momento. Pero esa decisión que yo tomé, yo iría a alguien bastante y, y fue eh, un betrayal, no sé cómo decir betrayal en español, pero um, eso fue. So, a yo tomar esa decisión, una de las decisiones que, eh, en esa decisión que yo tomé, yo perdí mi razón. Yo definitivamente, completamente, enteramente, yo perdí mi razón 
de ser, mi razón de que quería, mi razón de cómo vivir, mi razón de todo. Porque yo basé esa razón en, en la razón de la otra persona. Todo era a base de la otra persona. So, um, like I said, I made the decision um, six years ago. And when I made the decision, I definitely lost my reason. I lost everything about who I was, how I felt about myself. I lost everything you could think about a person losing in their self. Because my reason wasn't my reason. I lived my life based on their reason. Okay. So with this individual, I was addicted to this individual. Addicted to every part of this individual. I was addicted to everything. And as much as I knew, and as much as before making the decision, I advise, I advise him, because it was a him, I advise him that I was not the person for him. I was definitely not the person for him. This is not what he wants in life. I can't give him. And he didn't give up. He didn't give up. He kept trying and kept trying. And everything he told me was everything I wanted to hear. Not everything I needed to hear. Listen to what I'm saying. Everything I wanted to hear. So I consumed my life into him. I consumed every decision into him. So I didn't have a reason. My reason was him. Everything I made, when I tell you every decision I made, was based on him. On what he wanted. So to not go into really detail, because my book will go into that detail. Um, the detail where I want to go to is... so. As you ladies know, and I have shared with you, I can have kids. Um, I was born with a normal uterus, so I'm not able to carry kids. I have normal ovaries and everything. So, um, but I, I based um, a lot of my life and a lot of decision in my past. Um, with uh, men I chose to date, where men I chose to be in a relationship they were always men that were older and had their own kid, kids. So like that, I never had the subject where he, that person wanted kids with me because he already or that person already had kids. So I didn't need to provide that or it wasn't an essential. It wasn't something that it's needed. It wasn't a single person that didn't have kids that wanted kids. So I got into a relationship but exactly that, a man that didn't have kids, that wanted to have kids, wanted to have a family, but wanted to have a family with me. And as much as I advise this person, because I made it pretty clear in saying, I can't give you that. You know, you're asking for something that I can't give you. This is not going to work. But once again, he said everything I wanted to hear, everything that I needed, everything that I never heard from any other man in my past, I heard it from him. So I went for it. I went for it. And I believed in his dreams. I believed in what he wanted. I consumed myself in everything this person wanted, needed, Everything. My life was based on him. And throughout the journey of years with being with this person, besides me being addicted to this person, I, I, I fell in love with this person. I was in love with this person, but I was also addicted to this person, addicted to his words, addicted to that dream, addicted to no matter 
what situation we were in or no matter what situation I was going through, his words would just sell me a dream. Not reality, but a dream. And I got addicted to that, to that words of dream. And I lived almost three years of my life living someone else's reason. So I came and left everything, left everything. I rented my house out. I left everything. So I'm going to go back in Spanish. So all my Spanish speaker and I will go back to the story um, in English. So, so, um, pues tomé la decisión que tomé y estuve con um, un, caball un, un muchacho, un hombre, vamos a poner hombre, donde eh, el sueño de él es querer estar o querer estar conmigo y tener una familia conmigo. So, yo tomo una decisión, una decisión donde um, causó, causó daños emocionales. Um, y tras que tomo la decisión esa, me entrego a esta persona 100%. Todo su sueño era mi sueño. Todo era base de esta persona. Todo, todo. Yo amé a esta persona, estaba enamorada de esta persona, yo estaba adicta a esta persona, adicta a todo lo que me decía, a todo lo que hacía, a todo, todo. Cualquier problema que había, él decía palabras, pero palabras de sueño, palabras de todo. Y yo estaba adicta a ese sueño, yo estaba adicta no a la realidad, pero el sueño que esta persona a mí me vendía, me decía, porque él lo decía tanto que era como creerlo, era que yo lo creía así, pero no era la realidad, no era mi razón, era la razón de esa persona. So, todo el mundo sabe que yo no puedo, ¿cómo es? Cargar un hijo, yo no puedo tener hijo. Yo tengo mis ovarios, mis ovarios son normales y todo, pero yo nací con una deformalidad y yo no puedo tener hijos. Pero él quería eso conmigo. Él quería tener hijos conmigo. Y él me vendió o no me vendió. Yo permití que me vendiera porque la responsable de todo esto a lo último soy yo. No es esa persona porque yo permití que esa persona me vendiera estos sueños y yo los creí. Yo creía todo lo que él me decía. Yo estaba consumida de esta persona enteramente. Yo me perdí en esta persona. Ya yo no era Gigi. Yo nunca fui Gigi en los tres años que yo tuve con esa persona. Todo era a base de esa persona. Amé a la persona. Estuve enamorada mucho de esta persona y estaba adicta de esa persona. So, yo vine y lo dejé todo. Yo renté mi casa, dejé todo, renté mi casa, cogimos el dinero que teníamos, el, el dinero que tenía, él cogió dinero prestado, él cogió todo para yo volar fuera del país para poder hacerme una, un procedimiento para poder cumplirle a él su razón de vivir, para cumplirle a él su razón de estar conmigo. So, how was that in Spanish? So, I made the decision. I ran in my house out. We took the savings we had. He borrowed money, and I flew out of the country. I flew out of the country to do a procedure to to make his reason come true not my reason to make his reason come true why do i say that because i was content with my life as much as i wanted kids in my life i grieved it already enough i grieved i lived a lot of my life 
grieving that, grieving the process that I couldn't have kids, grieving and accepting all that, accepting all that. So I was okay, but he, he, I allowed him to sell me this dream because I am responsible for where I was at them three years of my life. He wasn't responsible because I knew my reality. I, I definitely and I clearly always knew my reality. But I, it didn't matter. I was consumed by this person. I was addicted to this person. So I flew out of the country for three months. And I put my body through an IVF procedure. Put my body, injecting myself with hormones and everything to do an IVF procedure to give him a family. Now, you might question yourself and say, well, you're to give you a family too because you're doing it. No, I wasn't doing it for me. At the end of the day, I wasn't doing it for me. Because as much as I probably wanted kids in my life, I was okay at that point in my life. Especially because I told him, I said, I'm not the person for you. And me telling him and saying to him that I'm not the person for you is me accepting that, you know what, this probably relationship is not for me. But still, I made the decision to be with this person. Why? That second that I made the decision to be with this person and to believe that there was hope and believe that this was possible and to believe everything and to allow him to do to to go through all this because it it, it it I allowed him to. I lost my reason. I didn't have my reason. It was his. The whole time, it was his reason. So I lived out of the country for three months. Spoke to my family probably once every two weeks, if that. Got very depressed. Depressed because you're also injecting hormones in your body. I mean, it was it was really, really, really hard. A really hard three months that I lived of my life. But once again, I made the choice. I allowed him to get me there. And I knew, I knew, I knew the whole time. And even though I spoke to my family and I told them, no, this is what we want. This is what, no, that was a lie. That's what he wanted. I just didn't realize it at the moment. I didn't realize it. I was so consumed for this person that I was living his reason the whole time. So in conclusion of that, after the three months of, it, being out of the country and, and preparing my body to do the IVF. Um, at the end, um, six embryos were created. And um, they usually let 72 um, hours to see if they survive. They're strong enough to freeze them. And none of them survived. And that was hard. That was tough. That was tough. Especially when you have in your mind, you have this... Because the second that none of my embryos survived, I knew that that reason was over. And I didn't want it to be over because I was addicted to him. I was addicted to the dream he gave me. I was addicted to every word he said. And let me tell you, don't misinterpret this this man treated me like a queen. This man always treated me like a queen. But just because someone treats you like a queen and everything, sometimes it's not the reality you need or you need to allow yourself. Just because it sounds good, it doesn't mean that it's good for you. And as much as I knew that probably this procedure, it was a 50-50 chance that it was either going to work or it either wasn't going to work. And something told me that it wasn't going to work. The whole time something told me. And not that I was thinking negative And not that. No. It's that you have an instinct in you. Because that wasn't my reason. It was not my reason. It was his reason. 
So I came back empty handed with no embryos and came back to a reality that hit me so hard in my face that I snapped out of it pretty quickly, pretty quick. And I'm going to continue the story. So, yo viajo, me voy del país por tres meses, me fui del país. Puse mi cuerpo por un procedimiento fuerte, un procedimiento horrible, porque fue una experiencia horrible. Cuando yo te digo horrible, fue una experiencia horrible. Todo por vivir la razón de otra persona, no la razón mía. Porque dentro de mí, en ese instinto que Gigi como persona tiene, Gigi sabía que esto no iba a trabajar. Pero Gigi creía, quería creer en sus palabras, en su sueño, en su razón de ser. Que lo hice. So, yo tuve seis hambrios que se crearon. Fueron más que me sacaron, pero seis fue lo que estaban vivos o se conectaron. Y esperaron 72 horas a ver qué seis hambrios iban a sobrevivir para poder frizarlo. Y así poder tener otra persona que nos cargue y eso. So, después de las 72 horas, yo recibo la noticia de que ninguno de los hambrios sobrevivieron. En ese momento, por más la tristeza que fue, pues algo porque... Es de uno, es parte mío. Ese fue lo más cerca que yo pude ser de tener algo que sea mío en algo que sobrevivió por 72 horas. Pero eso no fue lo más que me dolió. No fue perder mi hambre, sino saber que esto terminaba. Que ya de aquí para adelante ya no iba a ser lo que fue esos tres años. Ese sueño, esa ilusión, ese vivir por esta persona, ser adicto a esta persona, toda decisión de esta persona, porque eso fue fácil, fácil. No pensar por mí, no, no tomar decisiones por mí, no. Eso fue fácil para mí. Eso fue es consumirme en otra persona de tal manera que yo no era yo. Yo no, no era mi razón que yo quiero. Yo quiero lo que la otra persona quería. Esa era su razón. So, ninguno sobreviven. Yo viajé para atrás con mano vacía y ahí me dio la realidad. Ahí fue cuando el momento en mi vida me ha dado tan y tan fuerte en todo lo que yo me expuse en por qué tomé la decisión, por qué en todo. Cuando yo vine para atrás, la realidad y mi razón me, a, me dio como una bofeta fría en mi cara. Porque ahí mismito yo supe, en ese momento yo supe que de, de, lo que yo estaba diciendo desde el principio en que yo no soy la persona para ti, yo me repetía esas palabras, que yo no era la persona para ti. So, con todo esto, con todo esto que yo te cuento, con toda esta historia que yo le he contado. Now, with everything I have told you about this story, okay, I'm going to tell you my reason now. After that, I found my reason. My reason wasn't to be with him. And a, a part of me loved him enough to know and let him go and loved me enough to know that I would not put myself through this anymore. Through a dream 
that it might sound great and it might sound good and it might sound what anybody would want. But that's not my reason. That's not my dream. That was his dream. He just wanted to have it with me. And I just consumed myself so much because I felt like someone wants kids with me. Because that was the first time that probably someone wanted to have kids with me. Because remember, in my past, I always chose men who had kids. So I didn't have to worry about that. That's never been a dilemma in my life. That never been. I never put myself in that predicament. Because I knew that. But this is the first time that I did. But that wasn't my reason. So I came. And that's when I hit rock bottom. Because not only now I had to get back my reason and find my reason. Right? Now I had to detox myself. I'm going to say it again. I had to detox myself. He treated me like a queen. He said everything I wanted. He treated me the way I wanted. He had his defaults as well as I had my defaults. But now I had to detox myself from this person. Because if you're with a person that consume you so much that you lose your reason, then you need to question yourself if that's really self-love and if you're really in love. I'm going to say that again. You need to examine yourself if you allowed yourself to consume yourself so much in a person where you lose your own reason and you call your that love and being in love, you really need to examine to see if you have self-love first. That's where I learned that this individual who's here goes first, second, and third. That's the day... And let me tell you, I hit rock bottom. When I tell you I hit rock bottom, I would I used to drive and had to pull over because I was crying and crying and crying and crying. There would be days that I would have to obligate myself to get up to take a shower. I, 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 and people will call it depression. I call it detox. Because that's what it felt like. It felt like I was, it's like, it's like breaking into little pieces. Then having to build yourself up. That's what I did. But I found my reason. And the first step I took to my reason was saying, this needs to stop. I'm not the person for you. And... I love me enough to love you enough to let you go so you could have what you want, which is your reason. Because your reason is not my reason. I'm okay with not having kids. I have my twins today. I do. And I'm okay with that. But you know what? They came along when it wasn't something that I was infatuated with. They came along when when it was just something that we said, oh, let's just do it. Let's just let's just adopt some kids that need help, that need a mommy and need a daddy. Let's help kids out there and give this a home. Let me allow myself to 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 bring out that inner mom that I know that I have. Even if I wasn't born with it. Even if I wasn't born with having it. But that was my reason. Because my reason felt a lot better when it knows that I was helping someone and I was going to be someone's hero than... Having it my own, my own eggs, my own 
No. I found my reason. And I was able to let them go and love them enough to love. I loved me enough to love him enough to let him go and have that. But that is my reason. My reason is that I am an individual and a person that lives for a purpose. I chose this life and that's how I live my life. Saying that I chose it. So every day I figure out why I chose it. And every day that I wake up and that I wake up to my husband today and that I wake up to the kids that are mine and my dogs and the home that I live in, I know that is my reason. Because I am happy with everything. I wouldn't change anything. And I'm still me. My reason is being me. It's never losing me. That is my reason. And I hope that this story has inspired you enough to know that you are your own reason. Being yourself and being who you are and everything you want in your life is your reason. If you don't want to have kids, that is your reason. It's okay. If you don't want to be married, that's your reason. It's okay. If you want to live a single life and travel around the world, that's okay because that's your reason. But I know that if you ask yourself, are you happy with that? As long as you can say yes honestly without trying to convince anybody else that you're happy about it. But convince you that you know you are? That is your reason. So, ahora voy en español. So, después, es otra persona que hablas. Es otra persona. So, so, después que yo vengo para atrás, yo supe que esa no era. Ya esta relación ya no iba a trabajar, ya no iba a ser. So, yo tomé el yo, yo pasé un sufrimiento, yo pasé, yo tuve que desintoxicarme de tal forma que yo caí como una depresión, como la gente dice. Yo pienso que yo me rompí en pedazos y tuve que pegarme completa, pero me, me pegué con no crazy glue, me compré con la Corella glue, que esa es buenísima. Así yo me sentí, yo me sentí que yo tuve que romperme enterita. Enterita, enterita, yo tuve que romperme para volver a hacerme de nuevo. Cuando yo te digo que yo me desentoxiqué de esta persona, yo rompí vicio de esta persona, porque eso es lo que yo estaba adicta a esta persona. Pero yo me amé lo suficiente para amar a esa persona lo suficiente para decir, no, esto no va. Yo quiero que tú tengas tu familia, tu sueño, porque es tu razón, no es mi razón. Yo he vivido tu razón ya por tres años. Yo tengo que empezar a vivir mi razón. Y yo vine y tomé la decisión. Y no fue fácil. Fue fuerte. Pero la tomé. Y hoy, yo tengo hijos, pero los hijos que yo tengo hoy fue una decisión que yo tomé porque yo sé que yo estaba ayudando a alguien. Fue una decisión que yo tomé porque es muy diferente. ¿Cómo es diferente la razón? Porque yo tengo hijos hoy y no, porque... Mi, mi razón no fue ser madre así. Mi razón o mi obsesión o lo que sea no fue ser madre. Eso nunca lo fue. Uh, por años yo he vivido mi vida, mi vida sabiendo que yo no puedo tener hijos. Yo 
por años ha tenido la terapia y podido eh, eh, sanar y llorar y tener rabia y tener todo lo que tenía que tener por muchos años. Ya yo, ya yo pasé por todo eso. Mi razón nunca fue tener hijo. Ahora, mi razón hoy, porque yo tengo hijos, es porque yo sé que yo estoy ayudando a unos niños que no tienen culpa de nada de lo que está pasando. Y yo sé que yo le puedo dar a ellos algo que yo sé que no le pueden dar. Esa es mi razón. Y el bono o la sorpresa de eso fue que despertaron en mí el ser de ser madre. El sentir de ser madre. Pero mi razón nunca fue ser madre. Es ayudar. Esa es mi razón. Es ser la persona quien yo soy. Yo soy feliz ayudando a las personas. Lo cual otras personas dirán, eso es codependencia. Pero mi codependencia no es una adicción. Es una razón. Porque yo vivo mi vida diciendo que yo escogí esta vida. So yo tengo que ver por qué y qué yo tengo que aprender de esta vida. Y mi vida y mi razón es esa. Yo me despierto todos los días al lado de mi esposo, con mis hijos, con mis perros y en mi hogar. Y yo soy feliz, sin tratar de convencer a nadie de mi felicidad. Esa es mi razón. Mi razón es yo, soy yo. Esa es mi razón. Yo espero que mi historia que yo compartí con ustedes, ustedes puedan self-analizar cuál es tu razón. Porque a veces nos olvidamos de nuestra razón y vivimos nuestras vidas y eso, y tomamos decisiones para hacer los demás felices, para hacer los demás contentos, porque los demás, pues, son contentos, yo estoy contento. No, tú debes de ser contento contigo mismo primero. Tú tienes que querer lo primero. Cualquier decisión que sea, tú tienes que quererla primero. Tú tienes que sentirla primero. Tú tienes que llorarla. Si tu razón es llorar, tú tienes que llorar primero. No ver a los demás llorar. Si tú quieres ver a otra persona feliz, pues ser tú feliz primero. Esa es tu razón. Para que cuando esa es la razón que tú seas, pues entonces, entonces que sean... Lo demás. That is your life. You should be your own reason. You should be your own addiction. You should be your own everything. And this is my reason, guys. My reason is me. Day and night is me. I don't need to convince anybody of who I am, where I stand today. I don't need to apologize for anything. And that is my reason. What is your reason? What is your reason? Just ask yourself the question. What is your reason? Look around you and say, am I living someone else's reason or am I living my reason? Because your reason should always make you feel good. Your reason should always make you feel happy. Not someone else's happiness should make you happy. No, it's you. It's you from the beginning, you from the end. Don't try to make someone else's ha happy if you're not happy. Don't try to say, I'll cry with you if you cry, if you're not crying first. Don't try to be someone else's sadness if you're not sad first. Don't try to be anybody's anything if you're not that first to yourself. And that is you. That is your reason. That is your reason. My ladies, I hope you enjoyed the story. This is a very personal story. It's in my book. 
and um, it's more detailed in my book. Um, but I needed to share that with you because I needed you to know what I lived that I thought it was the reason. And I still live the reason, but it was someone else's reason. It wasn't my reason. Today, I live my reason. So I want you to be able to self-examine yourself and say, am I living my reason? Mis damas, compartí esta historia con ustedes, una historia bastante personal y bastante íntima mía. También va a estar en el libro con mucho más detalle. Pero quería compartir esto con ustedes hoy porque a veces, um, aunque yo estaba viviendo una razón, porque todos vivimos una razón. Pero es tu razón la que estás viviendo o es la de otra persona. Esa es la, la pregunta importante. Y comparto esta historia para que uno, para que sepas que uno debe de autoexaminarse, evaluarse. A ver si todas las decisiones que tomamos de verdad, de verdad, es por uno o si son por otras personas. Si tú estás donde tú estás hoy, ¿por qué quieres estar ahí? ¿O son por otras personas? Porque tu razón debe de ser siempre la tuya, no da la de nadie más. My ladies, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining. I hope um, this inspired you. I hope this um, can make a change, could do something, could at least spark something within you where you start questioning important questions about yourself. This is something I live. Like I said, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. I'm not an expert. I'm just Gigi. And Gigi shares everything with you because if it could help you, if it could enlighten you to know that you're not the only one that goes through things, you're not the only one, or maybe you need that little bit of help to make you realize some decisions that you need to make, I am here. You're not alone. So, mi dama, mi bella, gracias, gracias por verme a mí. Como te digo, espero que mi historia pueda ayudar a alguien, pueda, ¿cómo es? A uh, enlight, enlightenment, um, dale, eh, um, no sé, un, una luz, interior donde pueda um, ¿cómo es? revelarse y sentir. Busca tu razón, mi amor. Busca, busca de verdad que sí. Los quiero, los amo. Besito. I love you, my ladies. Thank you for always joining in. Kisses and until next time. Bye.